Okay, so now let me introduce you to a very powerful concept. Again, advanced programmers concept. For now, we are working always in the same file. But clearly, when we write, when you have big libraries, you want to put code in multiple files. And Python allows you to do this. A file is also called a module in Python, right? And everything that's defined in a file stays in that file. No other file can access what is in that file. So let me show you the simplest example. I have created an extra file here called init.py. And init.py, I've written a few functions. These functions are not available in main.py. This is another file. There are two files here, main.py and init.py. Main.py cannot invoke anything that's written in init. In order to access the abilities that are in init, I have to explicitly say import. Once I say import, everything that's written in init can be accessed by saying init dot, and then I can say square. Where does the square come from? If you go to init, there should be a function called square here. Right, so if I forget this import, it's going to complain. Right, if I, if I leave this out, it's simply going to say, I can't do it. And it is not defined. Okay, now why is this important? In this example, it's important because I want to put behavior in different files. But it's a lifeblood for us because many people in Python community have created so much of functionality that we want to use for free. Right, so I'm going to show you two. One of them is the math module. In the math module, there's a large number of functions. How do I know what functions are in the math module? Of course, we can look at the documentation, but they have made it easy for you. When you do m dot, well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you see here, it takes a second to pop up. But when you do m dot, you see all the functions that are available in the math module. Right, so you have sine, square root, tan, tan, blah, blah, blah. You have all kinds of functions in the math module. You can use any of these functions, okay? And as an interesting example, which I'm going to use in a second, I, I gave this example where you can import the random number. So I'm going to talk about random numbers next. You can import the random number library, and then you can just use, you can create random numbers. 